In this video, we're going to discuss some of the very common keyboard shortcuts that you can use in Microsoft Word to speed up your editing of any document, not just the documents uh, for Lloyds. You may already know some of these shortcuts as they're very commonly used. So the first shortcut we want to discuss is how to undo something that you've just done. And this shortcut is pressing control button plus the Z button. So this can be used to undo anything. If you type a bit of text and you want to undo that, press the control button, hold it down, and then press the Z button at the same time while you're holding down the control button. So I'll do that, control Z, and it's, un it's undone that text that I've just written. This can be used not just for text, but for anything. Inserting an image, resizing an image. So if I resize that there, if I don't like it, I can just press Control Z and it will undo. A very useful button that can get us out of a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, the next shortcut that we want to talk about is how to copy and paste. This can be copying and pasting from uh, anything on a Windows computer, from an email into Word, from Word into an email, uh, from uh, copying and pasting folders and, and documents from one, uh, one folder on your computer to another folder on your computer, copy and pasting images. So this is not just a Microsoft Word shortcut, this is also a shortcut for anything you do on a Windows computer. Uh, in fact, Control Z is also an undo command for anything you do on a Windows computer. If you delete a file on your desktop and then you think, oops, I shouldn't have done that, you can press Control Z and it will undo that. It's not just a, a Microsoft Word shortcut. So Control C, Control V, if we want to copy this text, we can select it and then press Control, hold down the Control button while we press C that will have copied that text. And now if we want to paste that text below, we would use Control V. So we'll hold down Control and we'll press the V button and that will paste that text. So it's very useful, you use a lot. It can be used on images, Control C, we'll paste that image here, Control V. You can see I've just pasted the image. Uh, it can be used on text boxes, on shapes, on anything uh, within a, a Word document. The next keys we want to talk about is uh, using the arrow keys to position a text box. Now, as you'll see in the following tutorials, text boxes, you can move them around like this just by dragging them with the mouse. But if you want to get exactly into position, you might choose to click on it and then use the arrow keys to, pos to position it pixel by pixel. So I'm currently using the right arrow key and I'm hitting the right arrow key over and over again to very gradually move it over. So obviously it's not very good for when you want to move it in big spaces, but if I want to align that right up to the edge there, I might get it to that point, but then I might have to click on it and use the arrow key to get it exactly in position. You can see I'm moving it only one pixel using the arrow keys. So arrow keys are very useful for getting exact precise positioning of text boxes. The last keyboard shortcut we're going to look at is how to select multiple elements in one hit. And this is using the shift key. You can see here we've got four text boxes. If I want to select all four text boxes in one hit, what I can do is I can click on one, then hold down the shift key, and then click on the second one, and the third one, and the fourth one. And now you see they're all selected. If I don't hold the shift key, when I click on the others, it'll just change my selection. But by holding the shift key, it allows me to select multiples. That's really good because once I've got multiples selected, I can move all of them just by dragging them. I can also increase their width or decrease their width the same. The same goes with the height. With they're all selected, I can decrease their height or width proportionally all in one go. So use these above uh, keyboard shortcuts in editing documents and you'll find that it speeds up how quickly you can throw Word documents together.